Hello widget watchers, welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to see that how some apps have these kind of different toggleable buttons which have these beautiful sliding animations and these buttons give a nice aesthetic looks to whole application and gives a better user experience rather than the conventional toggleable buttons. So let's start the video. So here I have this empty project in which I just have a center and a column widget. Now come to the pubspec.yaml file and here add the animated toggle switch dependencies and then tap on this pub get option so that it will fetch all the dependencies. Now come to the main dot dot file and here first let's create a boolean variable to store the R toggle value. So here we are going to make multiple toggleable buttons. So here I'm adding my variable name as first to switch value. You make sure to add a valid name, then come inside this column widget. And here add the animated toggle switch widget. Then add the bool in the angel brackets, which indicates that the switch will toggle between Boolean values. Then add the size, which means we are going to use size variant of the constructor, which allows us to specify the size of the switch. Then here add the current value of this as first switch value. Then add the values and add a list which contain true false that sets the possible values that the switch can toggle between. Then add the icon opacity for this. Then add the indicator size as 100. Now add the custom icon view tilde which have these context, value and global 3 parameter. Now from here return a text widget whose value depends on this local. So here add a condition that if this local's value is true, then text's value is Android, otherwise it is iOS. Now let's add the text style for this text widget. So here add the color for the font. So here we want that the font color should interpolate between black and white colors based on the animation value of the switch. So I've added that, and please you do the same thing as I've done here. Now add the border width for the switch, then add the animation type for the icon. Now let's add the style for this toggle button. So here add the toggle style, and inside this add the teal color as indicator color, then add the transparent color for the border, and then add the border radius. So here I've added the border radius as 10, then add the box shadow for this button. So here I'm adding box shadow where the color for the shadow is black, then spread radius is 1, blur radius is 2, and then add the offset value and make sure to add square brackets for the box shadow. Now here add the selected icon scale is 1. Then add the on changed for this, so that we can change the value of it whenever a human interaction is happening. So here add the set state and assign this value to our first switch value variable. And now save the code and you can see the button is appeared on the screen and the sliding animation thing is working perfectly but we have this weird shadow thing so let's fix this so for fixing this manage the offset value until it's not looking perfect so yeah tart was it for the basic implementation of the toggleable buttons now tomorrow we will see that how we can create these other two switch button which have this rotating animation thing and now, if you liked this video, then please give us thumbs up.